Can you see me? I can see you, yeah. Yeah, I can't see him at all. Hey, what's up guys? How you doing today? Randizis here. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I had a comment on one of my videos. His name was uh, Rohan War. I'm gonna show it on screen right now. He requested that I do a movement video. And uh, this is part of a series where if you comment down below and uh, ask me to make a video on something, I will do it. So here we go. This is movement in Call of Duty and how to slide, hop around, bunny hop, and how to like jump around corners effectively, which corners to jump around. There's gonna be a little bit of like camera movement and stuff. So uh, let's get into it. Probably should have done this before. <laughs> <laughs> so the first move I'm gonna show you is the slide slash slide cancel. So obviously slide is uh, pushing down on the crouch button and then slide cancel is pushing that again, uh, pressing jump. So as you can see here, it's like this. We go slide, slide, jump. Slide, slide, jump. Slide, slide, jump. If you look down on the bottom right, you can see my guy there. Slide, slide, jump. During the slide animation, you can't really see him. You can't see his like position, but when I click it again, you can see that I'm crouching. So if you wanna practice this, all you can do is just double tap slide. And then add in the jump after that, and that'll get you to run. So this will enable you to always be tack sprinting. All right, so this is straight running across. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that again. <laughs> As you can see, pretty easy to track it. Okay, so this is sliding and jumping. See how difficult that was to track? Okay, so as you can see, the amount of distance that he was able to cover when he was sliding and jumping was far less than when he was just running straight, when I started shooting and when I started uh, just run. All right, and this is sliding and jumping. All right, let's try take two. Take two. All right, let's try take three. I'm only able to get two shots off during this, so I have to make them count. And take three. See, that way you can see there that um, when you switch up your movement, you don't just run straight forward, maybe you hold back a little bit or you slide, you jump, whatever. It makes it very difficult to track, especially with a sniper. In a war zone, a lot of people are running snipers, so slide and jump. Uh, this next one is literally a game breaker. Stand right here. Can you see me now? Okay. No, you're good. Okay, so as you can see here, he cannot see me, and I'm looking right at him. You see this? There's about, you know, I don't know, three, four centimeters here that I can see and I can shoot. Uh, shoot right by the corner. Are you shooting um, at the air, like over at this box? Yeah, so as you can see, he's, he's not hitting me. He hit me with one bullet that was lucky. Watch. I was able to see him very, very, very easily. Uh, this is called the right hand advantage. You always wanna be pushing from this right side because you will be able to see them first. You'll be able to react quicker than they will and win gunfights faster. Now for Josh's sake, he, I don't think he's ever seen this from, uh, we're gonna show him what it looks like. All right, so Josh, stand, uh, stand right here. Can you see me? I can see you, yeah. Yeah, I can't see him at all. I'm gonna shoot. Can't see him. Shoot me, Josh. See, so you do not, this is the left hand disadvantage. As you can see in the kill cam, he sees me. Kills me very quickly, very easily. With that in mind, you wanna always try to push from the right hand side. Obviously you can't push this angle from the right side. However, try to move around the map so that you will be able to. Another one is jumping. You wanna jump around corners. Obviously, uh, like I said before, you wanna jump from the right-hand side. However, if you have to jump from the left-hand side, it will still be effective. So I'm gonna jump from this side and try to kill Josh and he'll shoot me. And then we're gonna try it from the right side as well. 
and see if it has any difference. All right, here we go. Getting the jump on somebody, you will, you'll surprise them jumping. As opposed to, I'm gonna slowly peek around a corner and we'll see how fast he kills me. We'll peek around <laughs> the left hand and we'll peek around the right hand. Yeah, he's dead. So I'm just gonna try to slowly move around and peek him. A lot of people crouch, so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna show you how ineffective it is. That was right hand side, keep in mind. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try it again. I'll go on the other side. All right, and here we go. Watch from his point of view. He can see me before I see him, remember. See, dead instantly. Okay. Um, so this is the left hand peak once more. Okay, wait, whoa, oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know if you were ready. Apparently uh, you are. Okay, coming around now. Okay, so I was able to get him that time, um, but I am badly wounded. Now let's try right-hand side. All right, so this is the right-hand advantage. Didn't even touch me. So even though I was able to kill him on that last uh, left-hand disadvantage, I was badly wounded. And if I had have missed one shot, you know, didn't shoot as fast as I did, he definitely would have killed me. Um, also keep in mind that I am using an MP5 and he's using a growl. I'm obviously gonna kill him faster up close than he's gonna kill me. But uh, that's his fault for using growl. So this next one is a bunny hop. I'll show it to you real quick. It's like this. So you just kind of double tap A or X or jump, whatever uh, you're playing on. And what it does is it makes it harder for you to be tracked. All right, coming around now. Very quickly. All right, so now I'm going to wait here and Josh is gonna run around this corner and bunny hop. Do you know how to do the bunny hop, Josh? I believe it's just a double jump, right? Yeah. You'll be able to watch this video to find out. <laughs> Alright, so this is him jumping around the corner trying to kill me. Your friends are dead. Oh my god. Alright, so uh, jumping around a corner is obviously easy if you have a scuff, but if you don't have one, you have a button layout and it's called bumper jumper. Bumper jumper or bumper jumper tactical. So this will make LB or L1 the jump button and then A or X will be the throw tactical button. And this will make it so that you can jump around corners and shoot. However, if that is also difficult, what you can do is slide around corners. So try to do a slide. Oh my God, my aim was way off there. All right, so we're gonna try, uh, Josh is gonna try sliding again. When are we ready? I heard him that time, tried to react to know where he was gonna be, still got me. So as you can see there, sliding, jumping, doesn't matter what you do, move quickly around corners and you will get the jump on your enemies and it will give you the advantage in killing. Another tactical movement is the drop shot. Again, not as effective as the jump shot, um, just because if they are aiming at your body and you drop, uh, you will start aiming at their head. Watch. See, as you can see, for a minute I'm aiming at his head, and if I get two shots off in the body and one in the head, he'll die. However, if you do do it quickly enough, you will get the advantage over your opponent. Um, so we're just going to kind of show you that. Okay, so I'm going to come around the corner. Okay. Let's try it one more time. So as you can see, drop shotting works, but jumping is better. When I'm drop shotting him, I'm shooting him at his legs a lot. Whereas when I jump around a corner, I'm shooting him at his upper torso and his head. And that's just because of where the center is. It's more difficult to aim up while you're going down than aiming at the same spot and jumping. So guys, if you liked this video, like it. If you love this video, subscribe. And let me know down below if you've used any of these and if you learned something. Thank you so much. Peace out.